Now, Ian Blackford has announced that he's stepping down from his role as SNP leader at Westminster. And I can speak to him now. He joins me now. Ian Blackford, uh, very good afternoon to you. Thanks so much for talking to us. Uh, so, just a couple of weeks ago, uh, you Thanks said you that you would be standing again for leadership at next week's AGM. So, why have you changed your mind? Well, I think a couple of things have, have happened over the course of the last few days. Of course, we've had the Supreme Court ruling last week that means that we're not facing a, a referendum. I, I regret that next year. We're now talking about waiting till the next UK general election in, in 2024, if that's when it comes. But, of course, the First Minister has also asked if I would take on a, a new role supporting the party, and that is uh, reporting to her, taking on a business ambassadorial role. And I think it's really important that we have the fullest engagement with the, the business community. Just a few short weeks ago, I published a paper on Scotland's energy potential with the looking forward to increasing our green energy output fivefold, creating 385,000 jobs, delivering four times as much energy as we need. And I'm just about to embark on a process of a, an industrial strategy paper. And I want to make sure that I can carry on doing that work, but able to engage with the business community as well. It would have been difficult to do that, given much of that is going to be back here in Scotland, as well as leading the, the Westminster group. So I've signalled to the group that now is the time to think about the new leadership to take us forward for the next stage of the campaign for Scotland to become an independent country. I'm staying as constituency MP for Roscoe and Lochaber. I'm looking forward to representing my constituents in Parliament, but complementing that with the role that the, the party has asked me to play back here. So it's, it's an exciting development, an exciting opportunity, and one I'm really looking forward to engaging in fully. OK, it sounds like you're going to be very busy, certainly, but you'll be aware, I'm sure, that there had been speculations that there were MPs uh, plotting to have you replaced as group leader. There are some people saying that you've jumped before you were pushed. What do you say to them? No, no I, I, you know, I've taken the decision. I've been Westminster leader for five and a half years. I've very much enjoyed the privilege of having that role. Um, I mean, of course, it is one where you really have to be at Westminster almost all of the time, and I've got the, the challenge of my commute from the north end of the, the Isle of Skye. So I've got the ability to balance the responsibilities I have in the House, but taking on this party role as well. Um, so, you know, it's a, it's a tough decision to, to make, but it's one that, that I did take, certainly in the, on the basis of the, the First Minister giving this additional opportunity that I have. So I'll be supporting colleagues in Parliament. I'll support whoever the group puts in place at the annual meeting next week. I had to make that decision ahead of the annual meeting as to whether I, I would be standing or not. And I think it's right with a few days to go that I signal that we're moving on to a new phase, one that I can assist with the independence campaign uh, here in Scotland, continue to play my role in Parliament and support the leadership that the group puts in place. Uh, suggestions that the person most likely to have got the numbers is Stephen Flynn. Is that what you're hearing? And will you back him as the next leader at Westminster? I will back whoever the, the group chooses at the annual meeting next week. I don't know who's going to be on the, the ballot paper. We'll wait and see. But I will happily support uh, whoever the group elects as leader next Tuesday. And uh, you did say, I think, at one point that you wanted to be the last SNP leader at Westminster. So any regrets? No, I, absolutely not. I'm, I'm really excited about the, the opportunity that I've got. Uh, I'm going to be working with colleagues right across the party, working with colleagues in the group, but, of course, working with the First Minister, who's a very dear colleague and friend, and I'm really looking forward to being part of the team and being her ambassador in the, the business community, making sure that we're driving out support for independence and that we, that we complete this journey with Scotland becoming an independent country. That's what I want to see happen, and I'm delighted that I've got an opportunity to play the part that the First Minister has asked me to do. How does she react to you saying you were stepping down? Um, I think, you know, we all recognise that there's a big job to do in, in taking forward this case. Um, I, I, I know, I've worked very closely with her. Um, I've always supported the Scottish Government. I'll continue to do that. But um, I think she recognises that it is right to take the decision that we move on, that we refresh, that we have a new leadership team. And I stand shoulder to shoulder with her in making sure that I do what I can in the business community to make sure that we drive the case for Scottish independence. That's what I'm looking forward to, very much looking forward to us finishing this story, Scotland becoming that independent country, making sure that we can drive that green energy okay. potential that we can get that green industrial transformation in Scotland, drive up jobs, okay. drive up living standards and have a, a better Scotland. Sorry to rush you in, Blackford. We're running out of time. We're about to finish the programme, but we appreciate your time this afternoon. Thanks so much for talking to us today.